Hello, my beautiful Scorpios, and welcome to your weekly love tarot reading for the week of February the 16th up until February the 23rd. All right, let's go ahead and jump right into your reading. Hello, hello, my beautiful Scorpios. How have you guys been? Okay, I'm going to go and start calibrating to the energies. Oh, wow, look at that. So the hangman in the reverse. Let's see what's right underneath that. So we have the four of pentacles. We haven't even started your reading and you're getting all of these messages. Okay, so someone here looks like they've been waiting. They've been waiting a long time. They've been very, very patient. You kind of feel like you've been kind of stuck in this, in this old belief where you kind of feel like, okay, if I do this, then this person will eventually do that. Okay. Whether this is you or them, somebody here has been holding on to a situation because they want to see some kind of change. And you know what? I think that change is about to come because here we have the hangman in the reverse. So someone here is about to take action. All right. Thank you so much my guides, my angels, for providing all of those pre-reading messages for my beautiful Scorpios. What do we have for Scorpios this week? What do we have for Scorpios this week? Always remember that energies are fluid, so take it as it resonates. If I'm not talking about you, it's a possibility that I'm picking up on the energies of the person that you are dealing with or the situation at hand. So always, always take it as it resonates. And this can be for your sun, moon rising or your Venus placement. So if those are dominant within your chart, please make sure to check those out as well. And since this is a general reading, always remember that energies can indeed be reversed. All right, Scorpios, you are starting this week with the dominant energy of the, okay, so the high priestess in the reverse. So like I said, a lot of secrets that had been maybe kept behind, maybe kept secret, they are about to be revealed. Either you are revealing how you truly feel or your person has either already revealed how they truly feel about the situation. Something here is about to trigger someone, okay? I feel like it's going to be kind of like this effect where it's going to end up triggering either you or your person, and then whatever you say or whatever this person says is going to trigger the other person, okay? So someone here has been holding on to a lot of secrets, and that's why you have, have not seen a lot of progression in the situation. There has been kind of like a delayed beginning to the situation because Someone has been holding back on saying everything that they feel. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what else is going on here. Some of you guys might be dealing with, yeah, I see Pisces here. I see also Capricorn, the tower in the reverse. Yeah, so as much as you try to avoid it this week, it's going to be unavoidable. I'm telling you right now. Here we have Sagittarius showing up in your reading as well. Any of the earth signs. Wow, look at this. Okay, yeah, so yeah, like I said, you know, whoever has been kind of going back and forth, trying to make a decision. You're not sure whether to leave this behind. It's sort of like you finally get the hint, like, okay, you know what? That's it. I'm going to leave this behind, you know, but then something kind of calls you back in, you know, to either heal the situation, help the situation, maybe help this person. And then you kind of end up sabotaging it because you were just trying to help. You just meant well, and it ended up having like the opposite eff effect, you know, um, happen in other words. So what I do see here is again, someone this week is going to be very triggered, whether it's you or your person, something here is going to happen. This is inevitable. The conversation, the big pink elephant in the room that has been avoided is no longer it's like you even if you try to avoid it Scorpio or if this person tries to avoid it something's gonna happen the universe has its hand at play and the universe is already telling you okay you know what if you're not gonna do it then I'm gonna do it for you because this is the only thing that is going to clear up the air okay so I feel here that somebody here has been kind of caught up in their fears they're not sure whether to take action whether to end something whether to begin something whether to communicate something okay but again there is this energy here where the reason why this has come to a halt is because someone here has to tap back into their bold energy and say whatever needs to be said okay now let's go ahead and see your clarifiers let's see what this high priestess is all about what is this high priestess in the reverse for scorpio 
I want to know what this high priestess is. Yeah, so the Queen of Cups. I mean, somebody here is about to reveal how they truly feel. And, you know, again, something was maybe something ended in the past. This is representing you here, the death card representing Scorpio. Maybe you cut something off in the past, or maybe you're about to cut something off and you're ready for something new. I mean, take it as it resonates. But I do sense here that, again, this is going to release you and relieve you. If you've been feeling a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, sleepless nights, okay here with the two of swords like you don't know which way to go you don't know what to say what decision to make you don't know what you know whether to go this way that way whatever the case may be you know here again there is unfinished business in order for you to either one if you want to move on and leave somebody behind you have to have this conversation once and for all or if you want to have something new maybe start a brand new beginning with this person or with a brand new person it's the same concept you have to speak your mind there is this energy here where whoever has been holding back on an emotion level is going to have to speak up because this opportunity is here it's here for you to start this brand new beginning some of you guys might be dealing with an Aries it doesn't have to be but it's telling you this week you know tap back into that energy of universal power Scorpios you have the universe working basically in your favor this week so whatever it is that you say it's not gonna backfire I feel like it's it, it's kind of like um it's 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 now to the point where where you have had to said this for quite a while Okay, and it's going to actually relieve you, either you or this person. Take it as a resonate. But let's go ahead and see. I want to know exactly what this Two of Swords is all about. What is this Two of Swords? And also, let's clarify the devil once and for all. The devil, yeah. So, somebody, like I said, has been waiting. Let's go ahead and see this one. Okay, somebody here has been waiting. Okay, waiting. But see, you have to take charge. Somebody this week is about to take charge. You're about to say what has been needed to be said. And you know what? This is going to bring fruitful energy. It's go it's going to finally kind of reveal that this other person actually does have feelings for you. Okay, so if this is a brand new connection and you maybe you've been afraid to um to take the bull by the horns and just you know kind of like you know just lead the situation into the environment that you want it to be in whether this person wants it or not that's the only way you're going to know that's the only way you're going to stop wasting time okay is if you take charge some of you guys might be dealing with a cancer it doesn't have to be but stop holding on to security stop holding on to safety it's telling you this is the week for you to really make bold moves okay and let's see these clarifiers so yeah you have already taken enough time to contemplate the situation to analyze it to kind of like take out the wisdom in it you know you already have the wisdom of your past experiences and now it's time for you to drop all of this burden okay all of this stuff that has been needed to you know to to be displayed in the open out in the open it's only going to relieve you okay because again somebody here has been waiting for way too long and that's the only way that you're going to be able to cut off any kind of toxicity. If somebody here has been very obsessed over you or you have been obsessed over somebody, it's about to be revealed. Absolutely beautiful. Let's go ahead and see one more. Uh, let's see the guidance and angel messages, actually. Let's go ahead and get any guidance and angel messages for Scorpio. Relationship harmony. Wow. Everything is in divine order. Absolutely beautiful. This is Archangel Regal. We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved, Scorpio. So arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. So don't worry about anything. Everything is under divine ordinance. One more guidance and angel message for Scorpio. Let's see what we have here. Change in direction. Wow. See, this is what's going to open up the floodgates of opportunity, the floodgates of abundance. If you're looking for money, if you're looking for love, I mean, February 14th is right around the corner. Okay. So like I said, it's now or never. If this person wants you, then reveal how you feel. Tell them straight up how you feel. Okay. And you're, you're going to know, you're going to know whether you need to, you know, work on the situation, work on communication with this person or just just, you know, go on to, to a brand new journey and start a brand new chapter. So here we have change in direction. The changes you are experiencing are divinely directed by your newborn willingness, Scorpio, to open your heart to love and our guidance. You are protected now and in the future. So follow your path to the happy 
outcomes that you desire. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful reading. I do hope that you enjoyed your reading. This is what I have for you this week. Scorpio, thank you so much for watching. If you are interested in a personal reading, please do check the description box below as I now have openings and follow my new Instagram page at Gina G Official as I will be posting more on there. Hope that you enjoyed your reading. I do hope that it resonated. Let me know in the comments below if it did and let me know what's going on. I really love reading all of your stories. Believe me, I read every single one of your messages. Thank you so, so much for sharing that in your comments below. If you did enjoy this reading, please do give it a thumbs up. It really helps to support me and my channel. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel. It really helps for me to continue posting these readings for you guys on this platform. Um, without further ado, thank you so, so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Yeah.